Hello everyone. In this lecture, we will study about one stage of AMP. So here in this figure, we have shown two such topologies. One will be single-ended and other one will be differential outputs. Okay, you can see this topology is the differential input and single-ended output. Whereas this is the differential input while its output is differential. The small signal low frequency gain of both the circuit is equals to the low frequency gain is equals to this J M N R not N in parallel with R not P. Where you know this N and P subscript denotes N MOS and P MOS respectively. And in this the bandwidth is usually determined by the load capacitance. And note that the circuit of this figure exhibit a mirror code while the circuit of this figure D does not. This is the critical difference in terms of the stability of feedback system. While both of these figures suffer noise contribution due to M1, M2, M3 and M4. And in all the op-amp topologies, at least four devices contribute to the input noise. Two are the input transistor and the other two are the load transistors. Okay. Now, let us take an example and calculate the input common mode voltage and the closed loop output of the unity gain buffer which is depicted here in this figure. Okay, you can see this is the uh, unity gain buffer. We try to determine the common mode voltage. Okay, so in this case, the V in min is given as VCSS plus VGS1, where this VCSS is the voltage required across the current source. Okay, and the maximum voltage is given by the level that places M1, that places M1 at the edge of the triode region. In this case, V in max is equals to VDD minus VGS3 plus VTH1. Okay, and if each of the device has a threshold voltage of 0.3 volt, or we can say 0.7 volt, and an over the drive voltage of this 0.3 volt, then this V in min is calculated as 1.3 volt and V in max is calculated to be 2.7 volt. Okay. And thus, this AM input CM ranges from 1.4 with a 3 volt supply. Next, the output impedance. The output impedance is given as R out open upon 1 plus beta AV open which is further given as ROP in parallel with ROM upon 1 plus GMN ROP in parallel with ROM. This is equivalent to 1 upon GMN. And thus we can notice here the closed loop output impedance is relatively independent of the open loop output impedance, which allows us to design high gain op amp by increasing the open loop output impedance, while still achieving a relatively low closed loop output impedance okay so this independence of this the closed loop output impedance allow us to design a high gain of band by increasing the open loop output impedance so this is all in this lecture in the next lecture we will study about telescopic cascode of band thank you